sampling of the people themselves and see, even though they were a massive group in this exodus, and they represented, as I say, the historical from Egypt, the Holocaust, and modern day problems. All of these things have been painted in such a manner that the people in the front are more obvious, the people in the middle have less detail, the people in the back are just suggested forms and shapes. This is the multi-level story that he told. One affects the other, and yet each one is a separate individual. That's something for you to think about. It isn't necessary, as I said before, to have a photographic rendition, is it? You can have a feeling and have that feeling actually portray what you want to do when you start to paint. That is more important than whether you can paint realistically to the point where it looks like a photograph. Get the feeling of whatever you're doing in there and then see what it looks like. Let's take a look and see what it looks like in a frame and you can get an idea yourself how in a matter of moments we have very freely interpreted the work of a very great Jewish artist. And this in itself could be an indication to you, to your home, to your family, all that you want it to be. So please try it. And until we meet again, this is Connie Gordon saying, happy, happy painting.